Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Frame of Mind Inc. podcast. This is your boy, Simbawi Nibaye Jr., a.k.a. TK, along with my co-host, Omar Wells. They call him O. Say what's up to the peeps. What's going on, good people? Another lovely Wednesday, hump day, as some of you like to call it. And uh, y'all know how we do. We get it popping and jump right in. Don't waste no time. But before we do, you know what time it is. It is Affirmation Wednesday as well. So we're going to jump in here and do these affirmations real quick. Get them in and out the way before we uh, continue on with the topic of the day. So if you have your affirmations or you uh, written them down, you got to memorize, whatever you got, uh, let's get this going and get it popping so we can make sure that our Wednesday and the rest of this week uh, can be a lovely, lovely day. Are you ready? excuse me here we go today will be a good day today will be a great day today will be an amazing day today will be an awesome day today will be a phenomenal day today will be stress-free today will be a stress-less day Today, I will overcome all barriers that want to block my progress. Today, all circumstances, issues, and situations will work in my favor. Today, all things will line up for my good. Today, I will become better than who and what I was yesterday. I am a go-getter. I am victorious. I am triumphant. I am an overcomer. I never lose. I either win or I learn. I take authority over this day. I will dominate this day. I will conquer this day. And everything I have spoken into this day will happen as I have affirmed because I am more than a conqueror. Let's get it going. So today's topic we are talking about today is marriage and business, part one, I guess we'll call that. Um, Yeah, marriage and business, part one. So we're just going to lay the groundwork, you know, for for this series. And um, over the uh, the coming weeks, we're going to have actually guests on who are uh, people who are married and doing business together. Or people who are just married in general who may not be in business together but are working you know together in some capacity or who are just married and you have one who's working say you no know, they're separate jobs or the one has a business the other doesn't one stays home one doesn't it's a couple of different scenarios we'll have for you guys because um i'm gonna be straight up honest marriage in today's world to a degree and Feel free to jump in, Owen, and with you agree or disagree. Our last podcast, you know, we talked about, you know, I believe on our last one we talked about uh, no more excuses. And then we also talked about a few podcasts back about keeping your word. Marriage in today's world is kind of like a lost art. And I, I, I say that not necessarily loosely, like it's an art, like marriage is an art. But I say that, you know, it's like a cliche, like a lost art. But marriage in itself you know, it's not really honored as much in today's world as it has been in days in the past. I agree. And yeah. um, the, the, the groundwork you want to lay today is to a large degree, marriage is very similar to a business partnership. I'm going to say that again. Marriage is very similar to a business partnership partnership the thing is is that your marriage partnership should last longer than your business partnership hopefully that didn't hurt somebody (laughs) if it did then then good because you probably need to hear that your marriage partnership should last longer than your business partnership because your marriage partnership let, let's let's go down the, the line real quick. And again, we're laying the foundation for what's going to happen over the next few weeks. So 
you know, you, you, you have your wedding and you say your vows, whether you written them down or it's something that, you know, the, the pastor or priest or whoever says to you to say, and to make a long story short, um, you know, we say for better or worse, for sickness and in health, rich or poor, you know, rich or poor till death do us part. Most times, rich or poor seems to be a hangout for most people. And on top of that, to death do us part, let's not even go there. <laughs> but let's do for the time being, since we're here yeah. talking about it, right? Hey, man, we're here, brother. To death do us part. In today's world, marriage, if, you, if you've been married for five years, that's a milestone. Wow. In today's world. Right, right. If you have been married for five years, that is a milestone. In all honesty, that's pretty doggone sad. Because right. five years... Compared to how long you you you're living on this earth until death do us part, that's nothing. That's nothing. Now, nothing to 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 breeze over. Like congratulations, you've been married for five years, right? But in today's world, five years being married in today's world is comparable to being married in in years past, 25, 30 years. That's sad. That's sad. That's like the the. <laughs> That's like deflation or, or, or in, that's like inflation of the dollar. Inflation, right. The dollar over time becomes Loses value. Loses yeah. value. Right. So we're now we're comparing five years of marriage in today's world as a milestone as opposed to years past, 25, 30 years of marriage was a milestone. Right. Now, of course, milestones, we're talking like 25 years, you know, your silver anniversary, 50 years, you know, it's very few people that I know who go over the 50 year mark as far as being married. And that's not a knock on anyone. It's just that both people aren't married for 50 plus years. There are some out there though. There are some that I, I have met people I've met who have been married for 50 plus years. There was one couple that I, I didn't know them um, personally, but I knew uh, their son and they have been married for 60 years, wow. 60 years of marriage, high school sweethearts, all that stuff. So, of course, they weren't counting the high school high school sweetheart. It was like once we got married, when we were this old, and now we, and now sixty years later, they're still married. That's called longevity, right? The word you might want to look up and actually get the definition of what it is, because a lot of us in today's world don't know what longevity is, because we don't do longevity. It's more of like Jeopardy, you're trying to answer questions to get out of it, <laughs> not stay in it. <laughs> you're playing Jeopardy, you're not trying to do longevity. All right, we're going to flip that mindset right here, right now. Right, 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 right. So marriage and business, they work the same. They're, they're, they're one and the same. One is, is a personal relationship. The other is a business relationship. But they all, they both can are uh, involve personal relationships. Just one is a lot more intimate than the other. Your marriage is more of an intimate personal relationship where your business relationship is more of kind of like, quote unquote, a friendship, uh, but it's more business related. It's not necessarily intimate, but it is a relationship in general. So I'm going to let O jump in here and uh, as we continue on. So, yeah, no, I I, I, I don't know if you, you definitely probably wouldn't remember, but uh, like maybe last year, one of like the earlier shows, I, I, I said, uh. I personally feel like I said they could disagree with me if they want. Marriage is a business decision. Mm -hmm. Like it's a like for for example, like husband means house manager. Mm. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Like it's it is a business decision, and it's a family business decision. That's why, like I agree with some cultures. I do. I'm not going to do it, but I agree with cultures who pick marriage. Like they pick the spouse. They say this is the beliefs and this this is what we agree. Like this is where we want our lineage to go. Mm -hmm. That one right there. <laughs> You're going to like because it's a business decision. You right. know what I'm saying? That's why, like, if you really do the history of marriage, there's dowries given, meaning like the the you know, the husband gotta actually give something up to marry the daughter, or 
right. or the um, it, it's 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 deep. It's not just oh man, I like her, I love her. <laughs> we we met at the I dance. Want some more I want some <laughs> I more like her. Yeah, I like she, she she she, want... she looks <laughs> she looks good. It's deeper than looking good. It's deeper oh, than bummer. him. You know, it's an actual business decision because even though one is di- like your business and your marriage is slightly different, but there's a lot of business decisions that have to be made amongst husbands and wives. Right. And they say they say money is the number one reason why people get divorces. Yep. That yep. got a lot to do with your business is not buttoned up inside the house. So mm. that, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> like with that. For rich or poor, like that's yeah, like one of the main reasons that people that people get divorced is because of money. The money is not doing right. It's right. Not, it's not, you don't see the gains, you don't see the benefit, you don't see, you know, the excess, you know, where right. is this going? What's happening here? Yada yada yada. That's why communication is so important. You mm-hmm. know, you gotta communicate. Right. Got to. I, I'll give a, 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 per, a perfect well, not a perfect example, but I'll give an example of myself and my wife. So I know that my wife is better with handling the finances than I am. I have no problem with that. And I am not ashamed to share that with anyone. Most people that I talk to, whether we're making a business decision or as a purchase at a store or whatever it is, and it involves money. I always tell people, I, I need to check with my CFO. That is my wife. I check with my CFO. I'm like, I'm the CEO. She's the CFO. All right. I'm the one that keeps things moving. She's the one that makes sure that the money is right and says, hey, we can do this. We can't do that. We should do this. We should not do that. Now, of course, there are decisions that I make, you know, that don't require me to have to speak to her all the time. But more times than not, I'm like, I need to speak to my wife first. I don't make 98% of my decisions. And she might say it's lower than that. But I say 98% of the decisions that I make financially. I speak to my wife about, especially when it comes to the household, especially because from a business standpoint, we, we have, you know, a business together where we have our company, Prime of Mind Inc. And there's different entities within the business. There's the apparel portion. There's the music portion. There's the video portion. There's, you know, um, the, the, the podcast. Of course, the podcast is what I'm over. I'm also over the music and I'm also over the video department. The apparel thing we run together, but she mainly runs the apparel side of it because that's that's her lane. That's what she does. So each entity has its own separate, you know, account, but it's all going into one pot. But because of separate entities, we got to make sure that these finances are for this entity and we're not mixing in stuff. And so we're, we have to make sure that everything is working accordingly. And so in a marriage, it's like, if you're not communicating about the finances, you you're you're kind of you're, you're writing you're saying yes I do on one hand, on the other hand you're saying ah uh, I don't know, I'm not sure, and, and, and again we're just kind of laying the groundwork for what we're going to get into over the next next few weeks, and so marriage, I tell people all the time like my life is my business, and my business is my life. And my marriage, I always said, your marriage is a business decision. You have to sign. Well, mostly, you know, uh, the female has to get like, you no, know, you get a marriage license. Mm-hmm. But then you have to also, you're changing your last name to your husband's name. Like you're making a partnership. You got to sign. You got to pay money. Like it is a business decision. It's a business decision. Big time Period. business decision. Yep. Like this stuff goes through the courts and through like all this stuff. This is not, this is why. When or if, which is sad, but when or if you get divorced, there is money involved. And a lot of times for a lot of people, it costs them more money to get divorced than it does to get married. Wow. How about it? It costs you more money to get divorced and separated after you made that decision than it was for you to make the decision to come together and be married. Why? <laughs> and it, and it, there's those out there who they, they go into the marriage with an out already in mind, just in case. Well, what are you getting married for if you think down the line something's going to happen? Now, I'm one. I am. I am not the petitioner for the prenup. 
I understand it. I don't knock it, and I understand it. But what I'm talking about is if you go into a marriage and you already have an exit plan already, there is a serious problem with you entering that marriage from the get-go. You're already setting yourself up for failure and for divorce. You have an exit plan already. The exit plan has already been mapped out for you from the get-go. From death do us part. That is your exit plan. You've already created an exit plan before that, before you've gotten married. Like, I don't understand that. That, now, that. that bothers me. Now, can I, let me, let me, let me speak on that from another, let, let's try this perspective. Let me see okay. how you feel about it. Gotcha. So like, right. To the, to the, just for us looking on the outside, looking in, it may look like a prenup is a, um, a way out, but also it, Imagine if you were a billionaire or a million or multi-millionaire, right? Just put right. yourself in their mind. And you meet a woman that you say, Oh man, I want to marry her. There is a level of protection that could understand them wanting because how sure are you that she's not just wanting you to, you know? Right. There, there is a level of caution now. It's like I'm a billionaire now. This is not just willy-nilly, you know, right? Like how do I know she's not in for the billions and she's just in it for, and she's in it for me. So just as a level of protection, I can understand the prenup, but I see what you're saying. The prenup does sound like <laughs> I'm going into it with this probably not going to work out anyway. So, <laughs> and, and, and let me, you know let I mean? me, let me clarify that. So yeah. again, yeah. like I, I don't, I don't petition it, but I do understand why people do it. So sure. I don't knock it. Right. But I also don't like I'm like, like, hey, that's something you should do right like, on that level. When it comes to that level of 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 money that you ha that you are, you have millions and billions that yeah. you personally are worth. Yeah, I mean, I get that because now now here's the here's the flip side of that. And I'm a, I'm just going to flip on that. So now if if you are preparing to marry someone, you're a millionaire, billionaire, and you're like, man, are they married me for the money? Right. Or the other. It's kind of like, all right. Like, what can you do to, to be like, you know what? Do you really love me or is it my money that you really want? I right. Mean, and that, that could be a question for, so for some of our guests we're going to have on. Be yes. like, hey, like, what do you do in that situation? Because right. there are some, like, let's take, let's just take LeBron James, his wife, for instance. They've been together before he even got to where he is now. Like, you don't necessarily have to question or you shouldn't question whether she loves you or not. She was there when you had nothing like nothing you were right. just a guy who was a great basketball player but you were in high school didn't go to college you went straight to the straight to the nba mm -hmm. and so but now she's also and here's the thing she actually is worth more money than him right right which I, which is crazy to me like lebron is doing big stuff hold up she's worth more money than lebron yeah, she this oh, now wow. listen, this is what I saw in an article that yeah, yeah, wife, yeah. Let me yeah. Say, let me say this. Let me repeat myself. She's not worth more than him. She right. makes more than she him. She makes more than him. She right. makes okay. more than him. Let that me makes let, let me get my stuff right. That she makes, makes more than him. Now, in the long run, she definitely right. won't be worth more than him. That's right. for sure. Right. But she does make more than him. Right. So and for me, so now you're looking at okay, somewhere along the way, she found her way to do her thing mm -hmm. as well. So, but I get why prenups are done. So I'm not, I'm not knocking that. I just don't, I don't petition it either. I'm just kind of stuck in the middle. Like, look, do what you, what's best for you. Right. My, my, my thing is when you have an exit plan already. Yeah. It's not good for it. Ahead of time when the exit plan is already in the, pre, the, the, uh, the, the ceremony. <laughs> when death do us part, like that's your exit plan. Right. Period. Right. Me and my wife said that divorce is not an option for us. Period. We never even bring the word up in our relationship because that's not where we're going. For us, it's death to us part, period, in discussion. Now, of course, everyone has their own view of what marriage is. But all of you know that me and O are followers of Yahusha. You know him as Jesus. Yahusha the Messiah. The blueprint yeah. for marriage is what you say at that altar, whether you're in a church 
or you're in a courthouse or wherever you you might be out have your wedding outside in a field somewhere but when you say those vows and you say those words like this is like marriage like they call it holy matrimony for a reason marriage is something that is holy and sacred before the most high he ordained marriage he created it from the very beginning with adam and eve he created marriage so it's something that is very holy and sacred so i'm not going to go too spiritual on y'all on this but when you go to the altar with an ulterior motive already in mind you have lied before you've even said your vows already. It's like having your hands crossed behind your back. <laughs> exactly. Fingers crossed behind your back. Right. <laughs> it's like going to a business, you know, partnership to sign, and you're like, you know what? Yeah. You know, this is my exit plan. Now, of course, there are business plans that do have exit plans. Right. But the exit plan is agreed upon upon all parties. What right. I'm talking about is you have an exit plan you haven't even told anybody about. It's between you, yourself, and yourself. Right. Me, myself, and I had this conversation. Nobody else knows it. So that's all I'm saying. Right, right, right. That's so, funny. But again, marriage and business. <laughs> so we're going to have you know, some couples on that are in business together who are also married. Has people on who were, where one has a business, one doesn't. One might be a stay home, stay at home parent, whether it's the husband or the wife. And then you have others who may not actually have do business together as far as having their own business, but they have their own jobs and you're, you're still juggling. You know, everything, whether it's children, whether it's, you know, your careers, whether it's your dreams or your, your hobbies or your likes, your dislikes, all that stuff. Because I strongly believe that that marriage in today's world, like it's really it's like it's gotten real flaky. And it's like. Don't get me wrong, like if you don't have a desire to be married, then I mean, OK, like I get it, like, but. I'm not going to go into the whole, you know. uh sleeping around fornicating thing i'm not gonna go there like y'all look i'm just saying if you don't want to be married okay but if not you know you you, you kind of don't need to be you know going around and just kind of doing your thing like you know find somebody that you really love and want to be with and marry him you know what i mean and now everybody may not agree with that i'm i'm just you know this is what we believe and agree on so but marriage in general is just really is is a lost art in today's generation now i believe honestly that there are people out there that still believe that marriage is a very high standard and they they keep and they teach their children that and it's 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 either cultural or it's religious or it's you know belief whatever it may be but you know if, if you're treating your business that you have or your job or whatever you do better than you're treating your marriage that's a huge mistake <laughs> huge mistake because um not to get too too much into it, I, I was i was at a a men's group um this past monday we were talking about you know being an authentic man and and some of the the topics that came up were um you know uh things that that bring us comfort brings that that bring us significance and things that we want to control and just to kind of give you an obvious like, okay, as a man, you know, talking to the men right now, you know, we have, we have our hangups just like women do, you know, but as, as a man and the head of the household and head of the family, you know, the family goes as we go. And whether you are a male or a female, you know, again, if you have that exit plan in your mind already, you've already, that your marriage has failed from this from the start. It really has. So, uh, we're here to flip that mindset and to bring uh, marriage back to the forefront in this in this series and to really set some 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 groundwork for what we want to go. Uh, oh, go ahead and jump in here. No, yeah, man. As like I said, as um, as men, man, we got a you know, we we got a big responsibility. But again, you know what, too? Like that's <laughs> there's people out there who like, I, OK, so I got a friend of mine, right, mm -hmm. who he doesn't like. He messes with me all the time because he knows my belief system, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he thinks everything is just willy nilly. Uh, she, she, the, the, your wife, you know, she could be, she can run everything, and blah blah blah, and that, and 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 that's fine. But there is a, there's a head, right? There's a, mm -hmm. there's a leadership, right? There's, a, there's, there's a, an order. There's an order, right? Mm -hmm. And and I believe in order. Order, 
orders just rolls. Like cars have order, and and there's order in car- like everything has an order. So like so it's not about better or worse. So but yeah, but back to my friend though, he always tries. To, he plays with me and tries to mess. With, he always tries to, you know, he tries to antagonize me. I don't know why. I think he. I think he knows that he knows what I'm saying is right, but he always wants to argue with me. So. Yeah, he I I like again, I believe in order and he always tries to get it out of pace. But back to my whole point, man, we gotta, you know, we gotta we gotta lead. You know, we gotta lead right and lead, like I said, you gotta be like the CEO, like like TK said, you gotta be the CEO of this household. You gotta be and that doesn't mean who makes more or less money. Mm. <laughs> right? Like, for example, the um the coach of a football team makes less than a star player, but he tells that guy what to do. Mm. Now, how to use the right wording <laughs> when I say tell somebody what to do? <laughs> right, make it plain, brother. Make it plain. Yeah, no, like it's 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 not even tell what to do. It's this is the play to let to make us, to help us win the game. Mm-hmm. Right, he makes more than the coach. He executes the play that the coach told him to. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so it's it's not about making like. So let's bring it back to the household. It's not about how much money you make being the leader. That the the leader is not. You know, and, and that's old school too. And again, I understand it. Back in the day, uh, the breadwinner usually was the man. Why women didn't work back in the day? Mm-hmm. But it's a deeper reason of things have changed. Now it's like one. One income households, you need to make a hundred and something thousand dollars to be able to even support a family, right? You know what I mean? These days, so I don't want to ramble on, but yeah, I just like, like I said, my man was talking to the men. So, as men, we just need to lead and, and right run the right plays for the household, man. Yeah, <laughs> run the right, run the, the let's run the right plays because some, some plays take a long time to get back from, yeah, so yeah. You know, you know, you, you gotta listen to the coach and listen. You gotta listen, right? You gotta you, listen, you like coach. You gotta listen, but you gotta, but you gotta believe that the coach. And I think too, let's get back to talk about marriages, man. I think sometimes the marriage, when you're doing business together and you're doing married, and you're married too, those lines can get blurred. That's why I'm anxious to, I, I'm anxious to get to the, uh, to talk to the people in the next couple of weeks to just see how like. How do they juggle it? Mm. You know, like, like you said, uh, tomorrow she does, uh, she does the, 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 the um, apparel, the yeah. apparel, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> so if you were to add your two cents to the apparel, that could, that could probably cause like a, hold on, hold on. This is my thing. Mm. <laughs> you stay out of that. You know what I mean? Mm. Or if she was to add two cents to the production or the videos, like, hold on, this is my thing. Mm. And how does that work? Like how, because, like I said, me and my wife don't necessarily do business together, but we run this house like a business. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So exactly. we definitely run this house like a business, exactly. but we don't necessarily have a business together. So, I'm, like I said, I can't wait to ask these questions. You know more than like you experience it every day. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And, so. and that too. That that's the reason why like we're gonna have different, you know, scenarios. You mm-hmm. know, like for so for me and oh, me and my wife, we we have a business together that that we're running. We have different aspects. You know, O and his wife don't, you know, but they still, like I said, runs their household like a business. We definitely and, and do. as you should, as you should, mm-hmm. because let's, let's look at it and then we're going to kind of wrap this up a little bit. Let's look at this from a business standpoint. Number one, you have, you have a head. Someone has to be in charge. And from, be. From, from, from the order of Elohim, yep. it's man, woman, children. All right. That does not mean that the woman or the wife does not have any say so. It's just, there's an order. Now, let's go from, from the standpoint of you have investments as a marriage. What are your investments? Your children. Come on, man. You mean to tell me you're not going to make a business decision when it comes to your children? What school they go to? Who their friends are? What you teach them of what to do, what not to do? What's morally right? What's not? You know? Like, that's an investment. You invest in your children either the right way or the wrong way, the right things or the wrong things, one way or the other. Your children are your investment. Why? Because as a family, and as a marriage, you look at it from a business standpoint, the family 
lives on long after mother and father have passed and gone away. Come on, man. Come on, brother. It's yes, a legacy sir. thing. It's generational. And this is and this is the last one I'm gonna make because then we're gonna I'm we're gonna get into other shows if I keep going. So look at it from a king's standpoint. A king loves all of his children, you know, the same. When I say the same, they all are loved by the king. But the king always wants a son. Why? Because if there's no son, the name of the family is lost forever. It's about legacy. Now, there are people out there who have all, all girls. This happens. And I'm not saying that if you don't have a son, like, like no, like, let's just be honest. But that's an investment that a king is like, I love all my children, but I need to have a son for this legacy to continue. And you can, of course, the legacy can live on through your daughter, but the name just kind of gets lost, but this it's still your daughter. Like people know who she is. You know what I mean? So you have you make an investment in your children. Both of your investments when it comes to man and wife. Plain and simple. And and let me just add this in. So, like, okay, we don't live in a time of kings having to keep the kingdom in the family and all that, but even right. Even some kings that had daughters, they made they put the like certain cultures put the queen in place. Right. But like, even if you have all daughters, you st it's still a business decision. It still is. You st it's still about legacy, even though the name may change. Like, I'm sure you know. I'm sure your wife's father didn't just want to give her over to anybody. Right. I'm sure you know my my wife's father didn't just want to hand her over to anybody. Like. Right. There's legacy still, even if you got, if you're listening and you got all daughters and you're like, oh, these guys, no, that's why you vet. And we, we I, I say this again, this might not, people might not like this. I feel like we picked the person as a family. <laughs> we were, I know you, you might come home from college with a guy and you're like, oh, I think this is the one. Well, bring him, bring him through the family to get vetted. Let him let him sit down with your dad. Let him sit down with your uncles. Let him sit down with with aunt such and such and see how he interacts and what's what's he believing? Where is he going? What's he trying to do? That's good stuff. That's legacy in itself. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm you know, so even though the last name may not be there, we still can have a legacy. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's good stuff. Yeah, that's man. good stuff right there. So we, we're going to stop right there because we keep going. We're going to get into these other shows and we got to save some stuff for the other shows. Yes, sir. To get on. So, so again, stay tuned. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about marriage and business and how it all works together. Um, so for all of us here at the Fair Mining Podcast, um, myself and my man, O, uh, we will catch you guys again next week. We're going to have guests next week. All right. Um, we don't have them lined up yet, but we're lining them up. So just make sure you stay tuned because they're going to be some real good marriage couples on that are going to drop some knowledge. On decades, a, decades of marriage. Decades of marriage. <laughs> right, so right. Like myself and oh, like we haven't reached the 20 year mark yet. Mm -mm. You know, um, well, we got a decade. I'm, we got a decade. <laughs> I'm, 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 at, I'm at 14 years. I, I believe. Oh, where do you I'll at? be 12 this year. It's at 12. So yeah. we're, o we're over 10. So yeah. we're making our way to 20. So there we go. But we got we got we got some 30s and we got some 40s mm -hmm. of, of marriages coming into you guys at Drops of Knowledge. So uh, stay tuned. Join us next week. And uh, from all of us here, don't forget to always think it, speak it and achieve it. And uh, until next week, I holla. Thank you for joining the Frame of Mind Inc. podcast. And as always here at Frame of Mind Inc., think positive thoughts say positive things and do positive deeds as our tagline says think it speak it achieve it see you next time don't forget to check us out on the web at www.frameofmindinc.com where you can browse our online apparel store listen to some of our original music and production services 
as well as view our videos and projects we've done for our clients and customers.